Alright, so let's start it. Uh, let's start with NetBeans. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna start with week 12. Alright. Zoom in. Okay, so we are going to work on so today we're going to work on graphical user interface in Java mostly how to create panels in Java there's a procedure uh, you don't really need to know all of it there's a class you can do it that right directly so if you right click here uh, you can go new. There's always the J frame forms and the J panels forms. There's lots of things you can work through, but uh, for the purpose of this course, since this is a fundamental course, we're gonna walk you through it. What is a panel and how you're gonna actually create one. So there's two library we're gonna use. We're gonna import um, Java X dot swing. And there's a bunch of them. I'm just gonna import all of them, if you recall, for importing all these swing belts. Let's say we use uh, dot star, <clears throat> and we're gonna import Java dot awt dot star. Same thing. So, so what are those? These are your slides and books. I actually walk through them a lot, so I'm gonna make a short comment about it. So, AWT and swings, swing are both part of the of a group of Java class libraries. Called JFC, which is a Java foundation classes. So Java has a lot of foundation classes. These two are part of it, and uh, so the AWT is Abstract Windowing Toolkit. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make those capital, I guess. So this is a this is a original original GUI toolkit which comes with uh, JDK right so it comes with the Java development kit so this is the original one it comes with it and there is a swing also so the swing is the latest GUI toolkit and it provides reacher set of interface components. Then uh, AWT. So this one of them is the old one. This is one of them is the new one. There is a lots about these two on your slides. Read them, see what they are. Just really emphasize on those apparently. Okay, so this is two we're gonna work. And the first thing we're gonna learn, is just gonna go with the basic window. So any panels. Uh, so any any panels you create. It needs size, right? So it needs width and length, right? 
So we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, two integer. Let's make it final. I don't want them to change. So we want to create the window first. So we need a window that we can put things on, right? And I'm gonna create it in a second. But I'm gonna set the width and the length. Let's put 350. Um, This is not really common to do that on the main. Usually you create a separate class for your panels. But for now, I'm just going to walk you through it. What's the main components of uh, a window or a panel? And we take it from there. So length and width, let's put uh, 250. Does anyone know what's the unit of those numbers? Is that what? 350 millimeter, 350 meter. 350 kilometers, no, pixels. So the, the size, we never know. All right. So, First thing you do, you create the frame that you can put everything on. So we need to create a frame or a window, whatever you want to call. For that, we're gonna use J frame, so Java frame, and let's oh, so J I type H, J frame. And we're going to call this window, whatever you want to call it. I'm creating the object basically out of the J frame, and uh, we're going to go new J frame. So what it, what it does here, just generating or creating a window object that we can specify different components. All right. Note this, so this is construct a new frame that is initially invisible. So this is one of the things. All the all the frames are invisible initially. And uh, you and you have to make it make it visible if it it's needed. So note the frames are invisible initially, right? Okay. Okay, so let me just run this, see everything's fine. All right. So yeah, I built successfully, everything's fine, but I don't see anything, right? Because it's invisible. How do I make that visible? So we're going to go window, dot, and there is a set visibility that you can go. So you're going to go set visible and it this method it takes a boolean expression so if it says true means i want to see that frame so this method will set the visibility so if you don't call it or you put false it doesn't show the frame when you put true you show the frame let's let's run this And here we go. That's your frame right there. I know it's tiny. Why is tiny? It's just the header. Can't even move it. So it has a X. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a, this is maximize of that frame. Here we go. So this is your frame. It has maximum and the close button. Doesn't have anything else. But that's a frame. Believe it or not. You can get the corner right there. Right? 
This is my frame, but it doesn't have any size, so it's as small as possible. So let me close that. <coughs> so I create the frame, I set it visible. So what do I do at between, right? So let's, um, for the frame, let's have a title. So we're going to go window dot set title. And let's put something as a title for that frame. So we're going to go, this is a sample window. So this guy set the name, set the, or title, your window. So what that is, let's see where we can see this message. Oh, we're going to stop that. It's running. Stop. Here we go. Oops. There we go. So you can see. Ah, okay. Let me finish this. Let me just set the size to. I don't want to have that small. So we set the title, which it goes on the top, and we're gonna set the size to since I'm at it. So we're gonna go set size, and we get send the dimension. So we're gonna send the window width. And we know length. So this is uh, set the dimension. So in that case, now I'm going to run it. I'm going to stop that. And here we go. So I have a simple window frame here. And this is the title that I set here, and this is the size. So this is like four, 350 by 250. If I make that 450, let me cancel that, and run it again, your window will be bigger initially. You see that? It's wider. So... In order to create a window, you need to create the, create a frame. You have to set the title, which is, tells you here, this is a sample window, whatever you want to see there. You see that before on the windows. So each window has a title. Here it says Big 12 Netbee. This is a window itself, right? And uh, you have minimum, maximum, and close. And you have the size. Joe, keep it quiet, right? Low. Hello. Right, so that's it. So three things, sample, width, and you have to set the visibility. Windows by default is invisible, so you have to make it visible. All right, so what else are you going to do? Funny enough, this guy doesn't mean closing the window. Or it does close it, but it's still running. So you're going to set that. There's other thing you're going to do. One is you're going to go windows dot set default close operation. So the close button that or icon you click on can be modified to anything else. By default, you can go jframe dot exit on close you can generate an error you can do many things you can abort there's all things there right do nothing you can do nothing on close somebody click on it it does nothing um, there's a lot you can do you can maximize you can minimize you can do whatever but usually you go exit on close so we're going to say okay when you click that fully exit that has to be done so that specify The action for when the close button 
is clicked or whatever you want to call it. If you're using a touch screen, touched. All right. So up to here, you generating a window. Means you have a frame that has a title, there's an action for it closing, and there's a size, and you have to make it visible. So, those are the things you're gonna do no matter what. Now, we're gonna put stuff on it, and in order to do that, you need to generate the panel. So, there's a panel, think of it as a board that you can put stuff on and then attach it to your frame. So, there's a frame and there's a panel. So, the panel is something. It's invisible. Let me just uh, talk about it here. So, in order to, um, all right. So, in order to, let's see. In order to add components to your window. You need to generate panel. Each window can handle multiple panels. Think it as a module. So you create different panels, and each panel can be different components, and those panels can be added into your window to form a really good shape. Window. So we're going to do that initially, but for now, just now, you need the panel in order to add components. All right. So, a couple of more comments. J panel is the simplest container class. So, it's, it's basically act as a container that can contain different items. Oh, we're going to talk about what those items in a second. So it provides space in which an application can attach any other component. Simple words, you need the window, you need the panel to add those stuff. So Usually, you have a panel, you add stuff in it, and at the end of it, you attach that or add that to your window. So, window and panels are different. And each window can have multiple panels. So, let's create one and uh, see how that goes. So, we're going to go J panel. We use the simplest one, obviously. And we're going to call this panel. And we're going to go new J panel. So, we're creating a panel here. So an object called panel to deal with this. Um, we can do many things with panel, right? So now we have access to many, many things. One of them is, let's say, we're going to set background. You can change the background color to, let's say, yellow. That's a pretty default. I don't care. So any colors you want, you can select it and um, use it. You can change the color. Search up, see what else you can do here. There's a list you can do, and we go through a couple of them, but we can't really cover all of them. It depends on the application. You can select what you want to do. There's a set background. There is a get class. There is cursor. It's a lot of things, uh, but like that's one of the examples you can do on the panel. But the thing is, let's add something to the panel. Panel is just a, let's say, platform to add components. So let's go with a simple message on the panel. So let's start with that. We wanna we wanna have a message added to the panel. For that, we're gonna generate 
J label. So for writing any message, there is a class called a J label, Java label, and uh, we can create, let's call it label one. And we're gonna go new J label. And let's have a message there. So Tony needs to know more. So a little bit of comments. So J label creates text labels. It's exactly work as a label if you think of it. So you have a label, you write things on it. Um, so provides text. Provides also it provides text instructions or information on a GUI. So any any information or text you want to write, um, we can use the J label. So let's they have a message. We have a label now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do two things. So we have a label. It says Tony needs to know more. So I'm going to have an object label with the message. I'm going to add that to the panel. And then I'm going to add the panel to the window. Think of it as the layers. So in the panel, you can add different components. I have one component, which is a label. I'm going to attach it to the panel. And if I have more, I can attach it more. If I want to and uh, when I'm done attaching everything to the panel I can attach the panel to a window each window can handle multiple panels each panel can handle multiple components simple enough so let's do the basic one so we're gonna go panel dot add and we're gonna add the label one to it so this has been added to the so we here we adding label to the panel and then we're gonna what do what so we're gonna go window add panel here's we adding panel to the window and obviously at the end of the day we should set the visibility you should keep the visibility at the end or maybe not doesn't matter let's keep it separate so let's run and see what happens there here we go so you see I have a window the panel is yellow now and it shows the message Tony needs to know more uh, we can change the color if you don't like yellow let's make it Let's see what we have options here. Let's make it cyan, and here we go. That's my favorite color right there. All right. Okay, so this is sample of what how Windows works. This, the procedure is pretty much the same. Um, always you set the window, you set the width, you set all of them, then you build a panel. Uh, let's write one uh, full uh, panel with a uh, functionality. Let's just jump right into it. I'm uh, gonna create a separate class. Call that um, Java class, let's call it metric conversion converter I'm gonna create that Let's zoom in all right so since 
we learn about the classes and such. This is more common to do. We're not going to create uh, windows in the main. So we're going to have a different class. And instead of uh, doing many, many things, we're going to, in order to let's talk, create uh, GUI. Okay, so it's customary. It is, I think I typed it wrong, customary to, all right, customary to um, create a class to create to create window as an object you simply can extend your class from uh, J frame class. So this act, act as a super class. And that would be your class would be soft class. Or main class, like mother, like a parent and child. So that could be parent, that could be child. So we learn about that. So what we can do, we can extend, because we're using JFrame, so we can extend, uh, extend uh, the JFrame. And um, in order to do that, you're going to import the package, swing JFrame. So in order, to, I'm going to import all of them again, the star. So in swing, there's many, many things. There's JFrame, there's, there's just too many. We, in order to work through this, because for every single component we use and create the object that uh, we can use JFrame. And for the components I need that I added to my panel, I can define parameters. So All right, so what that even means. All right, so let's say I have a, I want to create the frame that it converts uh, miles, feet, and inches from the input. So we're going we're gonna to do something like that. We're going to have a private J panel. And we call this panel. So this is for what? A holding panel so this is holds panels we need one panel to add those stuff to it uh, we need to uh, go private J label we're gonna call it message label so this holds uh, a message to a user All right, so the label was showing the user a message. But if you want to interact with the user, collect data also. You want to have a message, but you want to, want to user have an input. We can uh, use something called that J text field. So the J text field is for, let's call it kilo text field. So this is where the user give you the kilometers that you want to convert to miles, feet, and inches. So that's what you're going to do. So this is for holding the user input. And... Um, We are going to create, in order to select, so now we're going to give the user the option to select between these three. So they can, they should be able to 
the user should be able to select between uh, mile, feet, and inch to convert from uh, kilometers. So we need those. And for selecting, we can use many selecting tools. For now, just going to use something called a radio button. So radio buttons, those are the dot buttons that you click with the mouse and it be selected. We're going to see it in a second. So we're going to create three uh, radio buttons. So we're going to go private, uh, J radio button. So one will be for miles button. So this is a button you select the miles and uh, you're going to have another one. All right, this one's running and eat up my RAM. I need it. I'm recording videos. Just stop that. Seven minutes of buffering for no reason. Um, so there's a feed button and we're going to have another button to select the engine structure. All right. So one other thing is uh, radio buttons actually act independently. And in the right now, and if you want them to work together, you have to group them up. I'm not going to do it now, but uh, for that, we need something called that uh, button group. So each button can work independently or can kind of work with other buttons. Uh, in order to to group buttons, we need uh, another parameters. So we're gonna go private button group, and we're gonna go the radio button group so basically that to to gang up the buttons I'm gonna show you why we need that when we create the windows and everything but just bear with me here and we forgot the two main thing which is you need to have the private final integer width Right, so this is uh, in pixels, so this is for width and length, and pretty much it. So we took everything we need. Uh, now we can go and uh, construct our window. So now we're going to create a constructor for my class to generate, to construct my window, right? So we're going to go public, metric. So the constructor has to be the same name as So, you know, the good part was since I'm extending from the JFrame, I don't need to go create the object for it or anything like that. I simply for the window, I can just go okay, now set the title and uh, let's call it call this metric converter and so that set the titles the same thing set size
all right and what else are we supposed to do we're gonna set the default j frame dot exit on close all right so and we're gonna build the panel so this is the procedure so we set the title we set the size we set the default close operation we built a panel i'm gonna use that as a method so we built a panel then what we do when we built the panel we're gonna add the panel to my window or frame you see i don't need to create the frame you know old traditional way if you take a look we did the same thing here but every time i create the object and just set it with window.set now since i'm doing it in a class and this is extended of uh, jframe i don't need to do none of it so just gonna go set that set that we add the panel then what we do is what we set the visibility I think I made a mistake here. Yep. All right. So this is for my window. That's how we created generally. The only thing is I'm going to go create my panel. I'm already adding the panel. I haven't done that. I'm going to do it separately in a different class. So this is creating my windows, constructing my windows. If you remove that, it should show you a window itself. So there's no panel yet. So let's try that. I am going to create this here in my week 12. So I'm going to go create the window here. That would be, we're going to call this uh, metric converter and we gotta call it MC whatever you make you comfortable or and we're gonna go equals to new uh, metric and that is creating that panel for me in my main from this class let's just run it All right. Run, run. So this is my first window. Okay, I have an error. Let's see what it is. All right, let's take this to the top because when I make this window, it just waits for the window to be. Here we go. So I'm creating the object here. First thing before I enter those. Oh, same problem. All right, just going to have a main here, see that actually works or not. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. I'm going to go Shift and F6, if I'm not mistaken. All right, same problem. So let's see what it is. Oh, now there are no, right? So I, I create those, but there's nothing in it. So it's too soon to run it. I just wanted to show you what's going on. Unless I got to go and kind of comment those for now. Um, let's just go comment it. That's a problem with the windows. You're going to finish it, then you run it and see what it is. Teaching moment is not really great. So that, oh, I need that. Okay, not there. All right, so that should. Yeah, here we go. So, so far what we have is a window with a title and that and there's nothing in it. So what we're gonna do is uh, now I'm gonna go have my parameters and go create a panel. So we're gonna 
build the panel and add the panel. So how do I build the panel? So we're gonna we're gonna write the class here. So right after that, we're gonna make a private class. All right, void. So we're gonna match up with the top, and here my job is to build the panel. So in my panel, I need to have a message label, which is I just defined on the top as a parameter. So just simply gonna go message label equals to new J label. So this is my label, and uh, we're gonna ask the user to enter a distance in a kilometers All right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna test it to see that I see that message in the label um, I'm gonna add this to my panel so I'm gonna go panel dot add and what I'm adding is the message label <coughs> my panel so we adding a message for now oh did I for here we go so what I'm doing is I think I can't really run it now because I have all those buttons let me just delete that so now what I'm doing is I'm writing a message added to the panel and see that actually works or not run Oh no, that's a main. Let me cancel all that. Shift and F6. No. What did I left out again? The panel label. What else? All right, let's finish it up and then run it. It's better that way. It's just I don't want to go back and forth. All right, so we're gonna. Create the message label. You're gonna add it to the panel. What else? Uh, we are going to have the kilo text field, and that we're gonna go new uh, J text field. So. So this is for creating our fields for user to enter the distance. You can size it, right? So here you can size, let's say, 10 pixels. So you can set the size. We've got to play around with this. So I can set the size here in pixel. So here we just set it for 10, see how that goes. All right, so we're gonna add that also to the mix. So we're gonna go panel, dot add, and we're gonna add our field to All right. Um, I'd like to see those, so I'm just gonna go get rid of these buttons for now. I want to see what what am I doing. So I did this panel message on kilometers. So I'm just gonna comment this for a second and uh, see how that works so far. So let's go shift and F6. Oh, we have an error. What's the error here? We call the build panel. Find forty nine. Should work here. Oh, we never create the panel though. 
You're just adding it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot. I'm adding to the parameters panel. So panel is what? Equals to new panel. Oh, sorry, J panel. Then we're gonna add to it. Here we go. I'm uh, gonna import that. So we create the panel and then we add it. So now it's good. Here we go. So you can see I have a panel here. This is my message. And this is the field you can type stuff on. So the numbers or anything you like to add. The size of this can change, right? So if you want to go a little bit further, you can put this. Guy, where is that? 13 here. All right, so let's go 13. Shift and F6. Here we go. So it's bigger now. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's just go 15. There we go. It's a little bit bigger. So here we can enter the kilometers. That's a 50 kilometers. And now you can take that number and convert okay so let's now uncomment those parameters i need for the button so i'm gonna the user supposed to select which one they want mm -hmm. so we have these three mm -hmm. buttons the so next order of business would be adding those buttons so we're gonna have buttons so these are buttons mm. We're gonna have kilo text field. No, we need that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do miles button. So that would be the new J radio button. We're going to name that button. So the button has to be clarified. So this is convert to miles. And I'm going to cheat a low. And I'm going to copy this. And paste it two more times. And uh, one would be the feet button. And that's convert to feet. Uh, oh, the, all of them deleted. So this is feet button. And that one, this one is inch, if I'm not mistaken, right? So take a look at the parameters. That's inch button, that's convert to inch. So this is creating this uh, three. And let's add them to the panel, see what it is. So we're going to add those. So this is mile button. We're gonna add uh, feet button, and we're gonna add inch button. So what I did, I'm just adding those to my panel. So so far. I create the label, I have the text to enter those, and I create three buttons. I create the panel, I add them all to that panel. And when you come back here, your panel is ready, then you add the panel to the frame, and then set it visible. Okay, so let's see what it is. Six on F6, shift on F6. Oh, we have an error, let's see what it is. Here we go. Oh yeah. This is for commenting those out before. That is fine now. Shift and F6. Here we go. So we have those buttons now. And uh, this is converse to my. This is called a radio button. So you can select and unselect. Select, unselect. Select, unselect. But the funny thing, each of these work mutually exclusive. You can select all three. 
and that's a problem because the user is supposed to select one of them. These buttons are kind of interlocked, so user can select one at the, each time. So how can I do that? I'm gonna gang them up. So I'm gonna tell they're working individually. They have to work together. So if you recall, I defined something called a radio button group. So this is not one button. There's three buttons working as one. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm just gonna go and create my gang. So I'm gonna go, okay. Um, we're gonna go, yeah. Gang, gang, a gangster. Yeah. Gang means it's, yeah. It's, never heard that terminology? Yeah. Group them. I'm from the street, so. Uh, so radio. So we're gonna create the group first to group them up. Or gang them up. It's up to you how to, whether it works for you. And when I create my button, I'm just gonna go dot add, what am I adding? I add all the three buttons into the gang. So these are the member of the gang now. Or? That's, oh, the program becomes smarter now. It's know what I'm doing. Can read my mind. Here we go. So you here you create the gang, and then you add the members of the gang. There is no leader here. This is our group. All right. Now guess what? You're gonna add the gang to the now. You don't need to. You just tell them that uh, that's what it is. Yeah. So let's see they ganged up or not. So shift and F6. Here we go. So now when I'm going to take a look, click here. When you click then, they just jump to the next one. So they are gang now or they're the groups and they're working together. Oh, this guy is not. I think these two are, but this guy... Now, right? So the third one is not really working properly. Can you see? So let's go find out why. Oh, yeah. Like So the program tried to fill it up out of it. And uh, here's my mistake. So that's going to be mile. What's it? Inch button. Right. The third one. This is... I've never been a big fan of inch button to be part of the gang, but... Here you are. He, he forced himself into the gang. So shift and F6. All right. So convert that and this. So now everything's fine. I'm going to stop running all that. Okay. But there's. So what happens next? Now I have everything looks fine and I can type. 50 kilometers and press convert to mile, but nothing happens. Right? So we're going to kind of tell the program do something when the user click on those. Okay. So everything looks fine. Now we have to actually create some sort of action. Each button. All right. So before we adding them, we're gonna add action. So we're gonna add action to each button, right? And um, there is a there is a method called action listener. So we're gonna go mouse button go add action listen so that basically listen to the action 
He says, oh, but what should I do? All right. And uh, we have three buttons. We're going to three, add three action listener. All right, so so now what they supposed to listen to? We're gonna create something called that. Uh, let's go create the action for those. All right. So the action listener is a implementation method. So I'm gonna go here outside of all that and create some actions. So I'm gonna keep it separately. So I'm gonna go public or maybe private class we got this is a specific action for the button so we're gonna go radio button action listener and I'm gonna implement this from the actual in class action listener so we're gonna this is an implementation class. Let's just, uh, I think we should add that. And as you can see, this is part of the AWT package. So we're going to add that. Here we go. So what I'm going through is this. So this is an interface class, and it's for you to overwrite. And it's actually create, in a sense, to design a performance or action perform. So you tell the button what to do so this is kind of a framework that you can use and override so we're gonna do that in a sec so back to this uh, give me a all right so this is an error is not an error look at this it says what this is an abstract method in this implementation so we can simply go and do that here we go and that method basically shows up to override which it was there right so we overriding this this is just a header we learned all that before so we're going to override it by the action perform so what should i do so what we should supposed to do is uh we're going to get the message first from the inputs and this is a number and we're going to convert it. so the first thing i'm going to do let's have some um, i need a string For the input, so to hold the user input, so the user input it comes in the form of strings, and I have a number, so I have to convert that, and I need this string. Uh, let's call it convert to, and I'm gonna tell you what it is. Let's uh, leave it empty for now. This is for, uh, this is a unit. Oh. convert to and let's have a double for results so we have to convert and we have to have a result we set it to zero so this is to hold the conversion all right so first thing we're gonna set our input to what to we're gonna go to the kilo text field which is what is that the field is holding the message right so this is a field holding the message so the message is stored there we're gonna go there and dot we're gonna get the text you can get the text so we're gonna go there and okay the user put whatever and then we're gonna get the text so when we got it what we should do is uh, we're gonna check what we should do next All right, so note that this is a radio button action listener. When you press that button, this action become activated. 
So this action event AE hold information. First, I'm gonna check which button to the user actually pressed, right? I don't know what it is. So we're gonna say, okay, if AE dot get source. So this method gives me what button the user press. So who who pressed this? Who called this uh, radio button action listener? Who want, who try to create some action? So any button you press, it comes here, and we're gonna find what it is. So if that button is a mile miles button, so when you again when you press the button here, right? You call the action listener, right? And if we're gonna find out which one of those actually been called. So here in this case, this object can get me the source and it says, okay, if the mile button it is, we're gonna do what? So we're gonna convert this to mile. So first my unit would be the convert to will be set to miles. And then, how do you convert, um, all right, so kilometers to miles, what is it? So that's a number, right? So each kilometer is that much. So we're just gonna go back here, minimize that. So we're gonna go result equals to what? So we're gonna convert double to parse double convert the input because it's in a string format and uh, then multiply by 0.62137 simple enough all right what if it's not the minus button so we're gonna say okay else if you got me there I do AE dot get source. And if in that case is set to feed button, what should I do? So same procedure. The only thing is so I'm just gonna copy that same thing. Um But instead of miles, we're now going to have the unit of uh, feet. And how do you convert feet to... All right, we're going to go... Stop running that. It's eating my memories. All right. Um, so now feet to... Uh, kilometers to feet, right? So that's the number, 3280.84. I'm going to copy that, paste it here, and uh, we simply can go else, or let's just do the same thing. Since you guys want to understand better, I'm not going to do else, so else if, if the source instead of uh, feet would be, so this is goes feet, and what else left, inch, right? I don't need to do this. There is either you can go with else, but let's have it proper. And so now what we're gonna do? We're gonna go find the oh, that's a big number. Boom. All right, so that is it. So we're gonna find what's the source and we take the appropriate action according to that. And when I'm done, so here I'm done. I'm, I'll go here and let's have our classic J option panel and just show the message dialog. 
we don't care where so null the location and we're just gonna have the input whatever input the user puts let's say 5 10 50 plus have a message kilometers is plus the results have it a space here as we need those space convert to so or maybe I should get rid of the space here and um, basically put the space here though that works too yeah okay and that's about it. so let's see let's see how it works Oh, now, okay, so that is my actions. Now I'm going to link it to these buttons. So here we're going to, every time we call this, we're going to go create a new action uh, listener from those uh, No, we, we had what? New radio. So every time we're gonna go here and create a new object to go over and check which button actually pressed. That's it. It should work. And if it does, we take a break. If it's not, we're gonna find out why and then we take a break. So we're gonna do Here we go. So this is my moment of truth. This is my moment. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, let's put 50. And let's go convert to miles. All right. This is, looks ugly. You can actually go to the two decimal places, right? You can format it. Uh, do that. So let's try it with feet. Okay, that's this 50 kilometers. That much feet. Inch. Boom. So now it's, uh, it's alive and it listen to what you want and convert it accordingly. So feet, inch, 50 kilometers and such. Here we go. So this is a sample of a class with buttons and actions. So it has uh, more to it. Let's take a break. Up to 10.30, I guess. Half an hour. Yeah. And uh, we continue. All right, so I'm gonna do another class. Uh, this one is dealing with pictures. Let's deal with some pictures and learn how to do that, and then we wrap up today's session. I'm gonna create a Java class, and uh, let's call this my cat image. All right, so we're gonna create this. And this is my class. This is a simple class. What it's supposed to do? I mean, this. Uh, we're gonna have a button. Uh, which, when the user, I think, is a button. You. It's like a button. Which, when the user press or click. On it shows a picture of the picture of a cat, something like that. All right. So for this, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend this from uh, from JFrame, exactly the same as I did before. I need to import it. I'll do import that from the Swing uh, library. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna define the, my parameters. <clears throat> my parameters would be, so we need the image panel. So we're gonna have two panels for this because this is two separate, uh, uh, so we need two panels, one for for the picture and the other one for uh, the message. 
So let's Im all right. So the J panel has to be imported. Instead of doing each of these one by one, I'm just gonna get rid of that and uh, just put this star here. Yep, that's the idea. Make my life easy. So we need the image panel. Oh, we need the button panel. So we need two panels. We need a label to show the message, right? So we're gonna have a J label. So image label. And uh, we need a, we need the button, obviously. So here we go. Simple enough. J button. Okay, so that is what I need. And now I'm gonna go create my constructor. Can I insert that? Here we go. So we need a constructor. We can use all of those if we need to, but we're just gonna generate the simple ones ready to go. Uh, first, we're gonna create our window. So how we do that, we're going to set the title, so we call it My Cat, so that is for the title of your window, we, we're going to set the uh, default close, closing, uh, default, set default close operation, oh, not that. Um, fine. No, oh, that's a class though. I think we have a problem. Oh, no, no, no. This is a name of a class though. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it myself. I think it's messed it up. Here we go. That's a parenthesis missing. That's what it is. Here we go. So constructor public my cat image. And um, so now here we need to set the title to uh, my cat. All right. That seems all right. We need to set default close operation. And set that to J frame exit on close. So this is tells uh, the program what to do when it's leaving the program. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to do something for the layout. So the layout is different. So we need to create a border layout. Manager. What that even means? So we have we have two panels. You have to tell them what show up, which one show up, which one not show up. You have to manage them. So we are gonna set layout. So this is new. So we're gonna set the layout to the new border layout. So we, we think it that way. So we this we create a board with different layout and different location to put our stuff on it like a chessboard or something all right obviously that has to be imported and this is part of the awt so we're gonna we're gonna just do that too for this guy so this is to manage those panels obviously to say where it goes we need to when we do that so we have a manager to manage our layout so we're gonna build image panel I'm gonna do it later so we built that and also I'm gonna build the button panel and guess what we're gonna add those when we are done we haven't designed them yet 
we're gonna do it after but when we do those panels we get them ready we're gonna add the panels so we're gonna add the image panel and we're gonna add the button panel right but the thing is um, I'm adding these two but we want to kind of have an order right the whole point is we create the layout with the border layout to tell the window where each panel is supposed to go for that matter I'm gonna go and do this I'm gonna say okay for this guy I'm gonna use the border layout management that I just generated and I'm just gonna go center so the image has to stay at the center of the window and let's say for the button obviously button has to be at the bottom or you can put it on the top so you can go north south let's see what we can do let's see what's our option so we can go center before the line begins, before first line, before line ends, east, west, south, east. So we're just gonna go south because the bottom is good to be at the bottom. Customary, not really. Some people put it on the top, it's up to you. So you can play around where things go on your window. So there's two panels, we're gonna create those. Each of them can be arranged differently in the different locations. So we create the layout management to set our layout width. And here uh, we tell the each panel where to go. You can play around with it when we go. What else I supposed to do? So for the window, I said all that. We have to set the visibility, right? So visible. So that make your panel visible. Okay, so one thing missing from the previous class that we just gone through, and who can guess? The width and the length. Okay, so these two I didn't define here. Who can tell me why? So usually here, but what I did, I defined all the parameters, also had this too, to tell me where is the window sizes, and also I set the windows right away, so I set the size. However, I didn't do it here. Who can tell me why? Because I don't know the size of the image. Right, we don't want the windows to be that big and my image is that small, or the window is too small, the image is big. So we don't know the size yet, right? What should I do in that case? You can you can do this. There's a there's a method called a pack, and basically pack the window to their content context. So what it is is just is an adjustable or dynamic size so what, whatever you have so because it's gonna change I'm gonna have a button with the message which is a that tile of window and when you press the button the picture is supposed to show up so the window is dynamic so it's not the same size it changes and also I want something that is not too big too small so I want something more dynamic so the pack actually do that for me um, and that's about it so let's go create these two so I'm gonna Create the method and create another method. Here we go. Boom, ready to go. Gonna delete those supports. So this is two panels that I gotta build. Let's start with the image. Uh, the image panel would be so let's say image panel. So we're gonna we're gonna set that parameters first. Would be a new J panel. So that's my panel. I create this. Uh, let's have an image label. 
And we're going to have a new uh, J label. Let's go click on the button to see my type. I'm going to show them a picture of a cat. And we are going to add that. Image panel. Okay. All right, so let's run this so far, see how that goes. I'm just going to go out. Here, so I'm gonna generate the main for just the sake of it. I can call it here as well. It's just, it's, but for now I'm testing. So private class, uh, the private static void. I have a main here and just go my cat, new my cat. Let's see how that things works and uh, we take it from there. So let's call it method or the constructor for now. We don't need to have a main here. We can call it anywhere, but just for now. Shift F6. Oh, yeah, there's a parameters I haven't done that, so let's leave that. Uh, let's do the button, then we're going to test it. So let's get rid of those parameters for now. Now, uh, what is left? So button panel left and uh, image panel. Okay, let's just do it and then test it out. Okay. So now I want to build the picture. So I need, I'm going to have to All right, so we're going to add the button here. But I'm going to be more creative. I'm going to have a smiley face built into my button. So not only button, I want to have an image icon image into my Let's go find the smiley face first. And, uh, all right, so let's go online because I don't have any smiley face yet. There we go. Go smiley face. Something small, I hope. Something funny. Is that too big? <laughs> All right, copyright purposes, I guess. Or this guy, huh? What's this? Oh, that's too big, though. I need something smaller. Uh, let's say icon, right? So I don't want to resize it. Resizing it is really problematic. Uh, here we go. Those are more like it. But something funny. Yeah. Is that too big? Yeah. I settle with this. Something better. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> ah, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna download. Oh, there's a bunch of them. This guy is interesting. All right, so let's save the image and uh. I am going to go to where's my project documents and uh, Netbean projects. Uh, this is uh, 
week 11 or 12 12 all right so i'm gonna save the image here let's call it uh, smile smiley jpg let's save that so now I'll go back to this i am going to make you can't really directly import the image you're going to make icon image icon out of it so we're going to make an image icon smiley image there's an icon we call it smiley image and that smiley image will link us to the image location just gonna go new uh, all right so we wait up wait. before we do that well, let's do this okay so smiley location is set us to new image icon and we are just gonna write because we put it in the same folder as the project we don't need to really indicate the address fully so we don't need to go see documents just gonna name it uh, smiley dot jpg note that uh, you have to indicate the format all right so this goes and collects the i think i paste it here oh that's another okay never mind so yeah you gotta go and pick that image from there and uh, now i need to create my panels right so what we have a button panel we're gonna go new j panel there so we're creating the panel for the button then uh, the button has to be added also so this is a new j button on the button i can write the message so this is the first time we're having a button actual button we can write the message on the button for the radio button the message goes on the side but the button itself it goes on so we're gonna get get image there and let's try this let's see if we can run this so far i don't want to put too much here we go So, ah, it's hard to. So you see, it's click to see me, my tiger. There is no button yet. Why? Because I hadn't added the button to the panel, didn't I? No. See? So I have the button. I never added to the button panel. Dot. What? Uh, oh, sorry. Add. Uh, We never add the button to the panel so here we go we add the button wrong it write it again Control shift and f6 here we go so the button is here now and as you can see uh, as you can see here uh, it shows you the button the message is in there it's neat and it's really tiny because uh, we have the pack right so before it was just a message now we add the button so you kind of adjust it to the button so what gonna do now i'm gonna add that picture into that button so what i'm gonna do here uh we're gonna also before we add it to the panel obviously uh, we're just gonna go button dot add now uh we're gonna go set icon of my smiley image which is i like, created on top right so we add that to the button. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Shift F6. All right. So the picture is too big, but I'm, but it's in the button now. You should use something more smaller. You can resize it, obviously, online or find it proper. There's a way of resizing it. It's not that easy. You're gonna convert that to what? And just, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Let's leave it like that. So this is a big button to click, and this has these pictures in it okay so actually it's really easy to resize right so let's go resize that um 
here uh, I think is a document and uh, my project uh, week 12 and here we go so we can open that with uh, paint is that still available on Windows there's an open with paint I think we, with paint we can resize if I there we go so we're gonna resize that to Well, let's go with uh, 20 by 20. No, that's the percentage. You need to pixels. Well, that's out of 100, one is smaller. Um, yeah, we can do pixel too. Um, 40. Let's 40 by 40. Let's see how that goes. That's too small, isn't it? It isn't. All right, let's try. Save. That was simple. I you can do it throughout the program. That's pain. I don't like it. It's not. It's not intuitive. It's not natural. It just, it's just. It's gonna convert back and forth. It just. Don't we have any method to do it? There is. There is. You can I download. Something? No, no. 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 I wish. No. No. It's um. Uh, search it up. It's not that easy. Alright. There you go. That's better now, right? Or it's too small. Is that too small? All right, yeah, here we go. So that's my image resized. Now let's go get the cat, right? So this is, has to do something. So we need the action listener and an action for this button. And in that action listener, I just gotta go get the cat. So let's find the cat. Cat. Let's do funny cat. It's not that funny, is he? None of them are interesting. Now this is not bad. The Viking cat, eh? Mm. It doesn't matter, I guess. What? It's enough coffee, yeah. Try to. Ah, right, fine. Let's go with the Viking cat or something. This is not bad. Yeah, let's have that. Uh, let's save the link as uh, leave 12 oh that's HDR no not the link we need the picture so we're gonna save the image as and uh, we call it cat dot jpg so we have that right now so we go back to our project so now what we're gonna do for the button we have to add an action listener for that. So this button doesn't do anything. We're gonna go button dot add action listener. And I know what I want. I'm gonna write the method, call it button listener or whatever you wanna call it. This okay, listener. That's not good. Not enough coffee. Listen. All right, so that's gonna be button listener, and now I'm just gonna go click here and create the not the class. Sure, let's do that. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry, no, this card. Um, let's just write it, and here. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Button. Here we go. So let's go do that now. And uh, here we go. So it actually can cast it. No. Jesus. I try to be lazy, but it doesn't let me be lazy. No. Okay. It's just gonna write it. It's easier that way. Sometimes it's just. 
We're gonna go outside of the class, obviously. So we're gonna go here. Not outside of the class, maybe at the end of it. All right, so we're gonna go private uh, class button listener. And we're gonna implement my action listener to override this tender uh, button uh, this has to be capital so that pair of good what am I missing here listener okay implement implement action listener we have to import that obviously uh, the import here we go and here we go so this is good what's up with this this is how the implementation we're gonna implement the action here it's ready to go all right so what do we do here so we have to get the cat and show it when you press the um, button so let's call it tiger new my cats are no cats they're tigers so we're gonna go cat dot jpg so we, we make the image icon out of that jpg always do um, misspell the icon yeah this is I can because we can, right? We are Canadian for a reason. Yeah. More than an hour usually. All right, so we still have a problem here. Image icon. Mm, because this is single and that should be double. It's not Python. I'm switching to Python now. All right, so that's good. And uh, what we do, we need to set our image label to label to what? To so set the icon, 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 tiger here. And uh, we also need to, oh, one of, I'm not going to do that, but let's, let's see what's going on here. So we get the cat, we s attach the cat to the label. Right? That's what we're gonna do. And image label here will be added to your image panel for your video. Okay? But we have to. Alright, so let's run this so far because there's a problem I want to tell you before I do it. Here we go. So you have the button here. Is it going to click that? And the image shows up. Do you see it? No. You maximize it, you do. So what happens here is, again, so you just maximize and bring it here. So you see that button. You click there. You see the image is here, but the size doesn't change. So first things, we're going to pack this again to get to the size of the image now. So that's all of a problem. So I'm going to pack it. So in that case, when I put the tiger, I also pack it to the size of the tiger or cats. So in that case, when I click, so now the window adjusts to this size. But if you can take a look, I still have this image though. I don't want that. So the the image, not the image, sorry, the message. The message actually remained there. So I don't want that. I just want to have a neat picture. So what can I do? I can go to the image label. So now you are in the separate label, but that's also part of it. So I'm gonna go image label. And we set the text to null. Means just remove all the text areas. Just the image. 
Well, let's try that again. Here we go. So we click that, and you see the message is gone. So we have the cat ready to go. One more time. So you see, it's that size. Maybe I should just bring this. It's really hard to move this without. I need more space to connect. Yeah, move. Here we go. Oh. It said move. Oh, here we go. So this is that. Press. Boom. You have the cat. Okay. So that's about it for today. Gotta wrap it up.